What's up guys and welcome back to Monbazoo. If you're enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, we had an all-out grind fest, doing anything and everything just to make a little bit of money. And now that we've done that, I'm really hoping that today we're going to be able to have a chill day, if that's even possible. But really what I wanted to focus on was the truck, and I'm just now noticing that it's two-tone. It's all of the sudden, literally overnight, it's become two-tone. Honestly, it, it kind of looks good. I think, I think I'll leave it for now. We got the school bus coming down the streets. Wait a minute. Um, am I tripping, you guys? This has, this has not always been here, right? This is definitely a new thing. Got like a notepad or something right there. Garage door. Got two garage door openers. Storage bay instructions. Place a vehicle here to unload it and improve your FPS. One vehicle only. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, you guys will know this because you're like always on top of the updates. Way more than, way more than I am. But there's also a new E36. When I say new, I don't mean like brand new like it's in much worse condition than ours was when we found it so we've got more vehicles which is which is super super cool i don't think i don't think we'll be purchasing or getting it today i don't even know if if you have to buy that thing but honestly what i really wanted to focus on again was just the truck we're gonna we're gonna try to pimp out the old truck today and i really hope we can make it look pretty dang cool now i think that 15,000 bucks is a is a good chunk of change, right? That's that's a very decent amount of money. However, I'm just not 100% sure that that's going to get us very far at uh, at Roger's new shop. Let's just go ahead and cut the ignition on that. So, I've already pre-prepared some barrels of maple syrup for us. We're just going to get these hucked in the trailer, couple of them in the truck bed, and we'll make our way out to the Federation so we can make even more money. Or I guess we can just fill up the entire trailer. That works too. I didn't really realize we had so much space in such a small trailer. You might have also noticed that I did finally get rid of all the birch trees out front of the sugar shack. I just got to thinking about it like, why do we really even have those anymore? You know what I mean? We haven't had any real use for firewood since we upgraded from our wood burning stove to this one that just uses electricity. Anyways, let's hop in the old girl and we can start making our way into town. Gotta pick up the pace here, dude. These people are gonna be closing up shop here before too long. I really wanted to try to pull over top of the unloading points, but even with the trailer, it's it's still just not really worth trying, honestly. So we'll hop out, throw these out one by one. I think personally that this is faster than just being able to pull over top of the circle anyways. So it's not a huge deal. I really hope Roger's still open. Okay, it looks like he's still standing behind the counter, so that's a good sign at least. It's also a good thing that we brought the trailer after all. Wait, what time is he close? Okay, we've got we've got plenty of time because I totally forgot we had six more barrels empties that we needed to uh, to pick up. So if we buy something here that's a little large, maybe we can just use the trailer to to transport it. I'm already noticing some new stuff. Just since the last time that we came to visit, dude. Some new stuff for the E36, potentially. A couple new bumpers over there. Now we're talking. Now we're talking, dude. Replacement headlights. We've got some with projectors in them as well. Replacement taillights, too. These are Rice City. Those look awful. I'm sure, you know, somebody, somebody somewhere is going to appreciate those. And then we've got new OE fenders, right? Because the the new E36 that's been added um, probably doesn't have fenders. It probably doesn't have many body panels on it whatsoever. Some new doors, lightweight doors, and regular doors. Oh, okay, so the door card on the inside is is a little bit different. Yo, this is sick. And then of course some bumpers and stuff still here for the uh, the old truck. All right, I'm gonna start left to right and we'll just kind of go through the whole store here. Is this available yet? Still not, still not ready, that's okay. But we'll start going through the whole store and just picking out some stuff for the old truck. 
these say universal, so that leads me to believe that we could use them on the truck as well. I know we have these already on the E36. Let's get them. Let's get them. Gotta get both lefts, both rights, and then all four of these rotors. I'm just gonna kind of chuck things on the floor for right now, and we can gather all the things up uh, right before we leave. Do we need any spacers? As of right now, I'm not really sure. That is specific to the E36. These all appear to be specific for the E36 as well. Let's move on to the next shelf here. See, what I would want to do, what I would want to do with the old truck is just squat the rear, go as low as you can possibly go, and then raise the front just all the way to the moon. But obviously, that's not really going to make the truck very usable. Uh, we kind of use it as a, a transport vehicle at the moment. So maybe someday, right, Raj? Maybe someday we'll be able to do that. But for right now, I'm kind of leaning more towards the heavy-duty ones. Just because, again, it is a transport vehicle. I feel like I feel like having these would help us out. So we're gonna buy we're gonna buy all four of the heavy duties. It's probably two for the front, two for the rear, if I had to guess. And then as far as rims go, that's tough, dude. That's gonna have to be like that's gonna have to be like the last thing that we that we choose. And then depending, this is this is kind of great, actually. Depending on how high or how low you have your truck, there are also different hitch mounts to sort of compensate for that. That's amazing. I, I don't think we need to change it since we're not really doing anything crazy there. Do we need any of these? I don't think so. None of those would fit on the, on the truck. What about bolts? Honestly, it would be nice. I think we have a 12 pack of the 12 mils in black already but it would be nice to grab a couple of these in black wait a minute i don't think i knew i don't think i knew that the rear seat in the e36 was removable i suppose maybe it wasn't but now it is we've also got a new racing exhaust for that car dude it's gonna be it's gonna be so much fun to come through rogers again uh, at a later date and just pick a bunch of stuff out for the e36 as well but for right now we're only concerned about the truck. I don't think any of that can be fitted up to the truck. What about what about the safety racks, the headache racks? I kind of I kind of like this one the most. $1300. That is a expensive boy. You are going right in the trailer. And this dude is about to close. I've got to make a decision and fast this one. I don't I don't want the lights cuz we've already Already got the lights. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We've got one more. We've got one more. This rear bumper. There we go. And maybe the snorkel too, right? And maybe the truck nuts? Okay, he's officially closed. Dang it. Okay, we're not going to have the snorkel or the truck nuts just yet. But we can always we can always come back for those. Let's just pick up everything that we've put on his, uh, on his showroom floor here. And we'll head back to the house. Start installing some of this stuff. When we go back to Rogers again tomorrow, we're still gonna have to make a decision on our rims and tires as well. So we need the snorkel, the truck nuts, maybe, and then for sure we're gonna need rims and tires. It's gonna be a little bit too dark to do any sort of wrenching tonight. So we're gonna head back inside and uh, head to bed. I bet you wouldn't guess what we're about to have for breakfast. Some maple syrup, of course, and a poutine. Now I think I'll just kick on some tunes and we'll start to get the trailer and the truck bed unloaded. Then we can make our way back to Rogers so we can pick up the rest of the goods. I just went and picked up all of our empties again from the Federation and on my way back to Rogers, I couldn't help but notice, but there is another new building here in town. Looks like this one we might actually have to buy Unlike the one that's, like, right by our house, I think that one we can just sort of use. 24,000 bucks. But a six-car garage. That is, that is really cool. Okay, we can't even open the doors because we don't actually, don't actually own the building. I love that, dude. That's got me, that's got me really, really excited. You know what, Roger? I slept on it, and I decided to come back and see you again today because I just didn't really feel like we spent enough money. We need to pick out some rims that are going to complement the off-road tire. I'm fairly certain...
that's the tire I'm I'm kind of leaning towards. So let's go with custom wheel two. I just think that that's gonna look good. First of all, on a truck, and uh, and second of all, with the off-road tires. I don't really know what we should be airing these up to. I'm not 100% sure what the truck has right now. I'll just go, I'll go 35. That seems like a good enough number, right? All right, Raj, the only other things that we need from you are a snorkel and the truck nuts. I'm gonna do it. Now that we've got the trailer and all those empty barrels resituated over there at the sugar shack, I think we're finally ready to start wrenching on the pickup truck. So I'm thinking let's tackle brakes and suspension first. So we'll grab these little jack stands and sure enough, they pop right into place at their like max height as well. Look at if we if we put one underneath the uh, the E36, it's it's nowhere near as high as uh, as when we put them under the pickup truck. That is fantastic. All right, just one more. We've got our magnetic parts tray at the ready. All we have to do now is just start unscrewing all of these bolts. All righty, let's see what we're working with down under here. Okay, I need to be very, very careful about throwing these bolts. Definitely, definitely don't want to lose these things. My parts tray is just getting filled up already. Bit unfortunate. And then on the back side of here should just be two bolts for the calipers. There we go. Let's put that away and see if we can just sort of pop all these things off of here. Should be pretty straightforward, I would think. Now for the leaf springs, though, it's pretty much the same. Nope, that is the jack stand. Can we... Can we put that back? There we go. Perfect. Okay, so that just pops out just as easy. We're going to be replacing old Krusty right here with a brand spanking new heavy duty leaf spring. I'm not expecting it to raise it a lot, but I'm assuming it'll raise it at least a little bit. We've also got brand spanking new rotors and calipers. This should be the right side, I think. There it is. As for the hardware, I'm just going to be reusing all of our old crusty stuff and we need to drink some maple syrup a sapalapagus let me just get this put in right there and last but not least this one perfect okay so we just have to do that on three more corners of the vehicle and we'll pretty much be done with the thing but yeah we need we need to hop in here and and get some maple syrup before we just straight up die we really gotta hurry getting these last few bolts put in here just it, it's getting it's getting dark on us it's getting late and we are very very tired so unfortunately we're gonna have to head to bed but in the morning we're good to continue all right guys it's officially time to install our brand spanking new rims and tires this could very well change the entire look of our of our truck and it definitely does it looks so much more aggressive now with the with the off-road tires that's insane you guys will have to let me know too if you have any suggestions for like color schemes for the truck now i think i'm just gonna leave everything its default colorway like brakes brakes included let's go around now and just remove the jack stands now that we have the suspension and tires figured out and we'll actually be able to see like what the ride height is going to be like with that new suspension that's pretty solid honestly like that's that's pretty close i would say pretty close to what i was what i was hoping it would look like i love it i love it so much okay next up we can uh we can kind of start to play dress up here a little bit Get the snorkel installed, that's super easy. Truck nuts, we should probably do the rear bumper first. So we'll grab our impact here. Just gonna be four bolts, so I'll drop them on the ground, no big deal. I don't think the original rear bumper looks bad, but this one, this one looks very, very cool. So we'll get that put on, grab our impact again. Just get those same bolts that we took out, zipped back in here. Be nice if we had, well, we do have black bolts, don't we? 
I just don't want to I just don't want to use them, you know? Can move up to the front bumper now though. And once again, just going to be four bolts. Drop each one on the ground. It's kind of annoying having to put the impact gun away just to like remove stuff from the truck, but I understand I understand why it is that way. Let's grab our brand spanking new custom bumper. I wanted to I wanted to get the one without the lights just because if we're going to have if we're going to have this thing in the bed with a bunch of lights on it. I was kind of thinking maybe there'd be too many lights, you know. There is such thing as too many lights, believe me. I'm kind of surprised that there's not a motorized winch for this new front bumper, too. It looks like it would be perfect for something like that. Unfortunately, we're still stuck with this like ratchet strap type winch, but hey, that's totally fine, I suppose. Let's grab this. See if we can't get it installed. That is going to be two bolts. No shot. Is it actually it's actually just two bolts? Okay. Probably the big boys though, which would be convenient because I only have two of those left. I mean, we've got a tiny little package here of just four of uh four of the black ones, but there we go. All right, ladies and gents, we are all together. What do we think about the tire pressure? Do those do those seem low to any of you? Maybe it's fine, right? It's probably fine. Let's get behind the wheel of this thing and, uh, oh, what the heck is going on? We're like shifting around here. It's being kind of weird, but I want to see, I want to see how it drives now. That's what I'm really curious about. Wait a minute. Right, right. I, um, I kind of forgot to put the uh the lugs back in so let's just shut this thing down we'll get the jack stands back out and i will fix that really quickly that was a big oopsie oh no dude i almost forgot like the most important parts the truck nuts obviously now then, this time for real, okay? This time for real, we're gonna turn her over and actually take her out for a spin. I don't really know what I'm looking for as far as like, if the tire pressure is, is high enough or not. They look, like visually they look fine. So maybe it's, maybe it's all right. Truck does not drive any differently. It's kind of looking like we could use some wheel spacers too. Maybe get the wheels to poke out the fenders just just a little bit more. Do a little e-brake turnaround here. Let's go on like the the rougher road that leads out to the sugar shack. I feel like that'd be a good test of the suspension. We not, might also just try to put a bunch of weight in the back to see how much it squats. Oh, you know what? Going over these bumps. It's honestly not near as bouncy as it was before. So maybe maybe we'll have a less likely chance of things jumping out the bed on us. Let's try to load it up with some of these logs too, just so we can like really see the suspension flex, if it will. I don't know. I don't know, that right there is eight logs and it's not really squatting whatsoever, which is perfect. That's precisely what I wanted out of this thing. I absolutely Love this truck, dude. I feel like I'm falling in love with this truck all over again. But unfortunately, that is all we have time for for today. So once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.